If you've ever wondered how glass was made, from the glass in your phones, to a gigantic telescopic lens, to these beautiful handcrafted pumpkins like the one I'm holding and the world's largest behind me, then this is the place to find out. We're in Corning, New York at the Corning Museum of Glass, and we're here to talk with two Eagle Scouts, Eric Meek and G. Brian Juck, who share with almost half a million people every year just how amazing glass is. Let's go talk with them. Through scouting, I really came to love the outdoors, and so I, I pursued a degree in ecology. Um, but I always had to take an art elective, and the first semester I went into a glass shop and signed up for glass blowing. It was fascinating. I was hooked immediately. So when I graduated, I took a job in glass blowing for a few years because I thought, you know what, let me just do this while I'm young, and I'll have fun making glass for a few years, and then I'll go back and get a real job. Well, you know, here I am 25 years later still as a glass maker, and I love it. The Corning Museum of Glass has thousands of objects that date back 35 centuries. So we have some of the very, very oldest pieces of glass uh, and some completely contemporary and modern pieces of glass. Glass is it's an amazing material to work with and it's a, it's a really, really difficult material to master. When you're shaping molten glass, every moment you're shaping it, it changes. It changes from something that's soft and drippy like honey to something that's solid and brittle like we know glass to be. So it's, it's a challenging material to use and it's a challenging material to make new things out of. The, the great thing about this is that you can imagine so many things in glass and so many things can be realized. It's, the only limit is your imagination. So that's the thing that keeps you going is that you can always have a new idea and you can always make it. Eagle Scout G. Brian Juck says people come from all over the world to make glass and see glass being made. The museum has all the right tools for glass blowers like himself. Yeah, the Corning Museum of Glass has uh, the cream of the crop equipment. You won't go to a studio that has better equipment, a better setup, or a better team to help you. The museum sees over 400,000 visitors a year. It's been a real honor to present to probably millions of people over my career here at the Corning Museum of Glass. We're really excited about tonight's event. Scouts from all over the council are coming and scouts have uh, drawn pictures. We We've picked them out and we're gonna make them with their help. As an Eagle Scout, I'm really excited to make an Eagle's Head tonight. It was one of the drawings that we chose and I'm looking forward to looking into the crowd and seeing the excitement of the scouts and seeing the possibilities of glass. Scouting was really about, um, for me, I really enjoyed the camaraderie and uh, the teamwork and just being part of something bigger than just who you are. You know, it was all about the team. And I was always involved in sports and it was similar to that. But uh, that is one of the things that I like about my career now. Uh, glass making really relies on a team and a well-organized team at that. I've worked with G. Brian here for, for over 10 years. You know, we've worked together on lots of projects. Glass making is a, it's a team effort. You know, you, very few people blow glass alone. And you need somebody that you can depend on. And G. Brian is, is the best guy to have on your team when you're making something that's technical and difficult and heavy. And I think for as long as we've worked together, we've known about scouting. When you talk about the teamwork and the camaraderie of, of a team of glassmakers, you know, it, it makes you think of other experiences like that in your life, like scouting, and I think it came up pretty early. I've been a glassmaker for a long time, uh, and I've been a manager for, for about eight years now. Um, you know, and certainly one thing I learned is that um, the complexities of working with people are sometimes more complex than working with glass. Um, and again, that's where scouting has really played a role in, in helping to to shape your ability to, to work with lots of different people from lots of walks of life. Thanks for joining us. You know, I think my wife might like this, so I'm gonna head over to the gift shop. Thanks for watching. To learn more about our Eagle Scouts and how scouting has influenced their glassblowing careers, check out the spring 2019 issue of Eagle's Call Magazine.